What's up, YouTube? It's Zilla. Back with another video. I'm here with Mama Zilla. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this video is going to be just questions I'm asking her. Just normal, not normal, but random questions for her. Uh, but yeah, today's been going good. I got family coming in, flying in for my brother's, uh, what is it called? Birthday. You know, birthday celebration. Uh, his birthday was last week, so this week we're just you know, celebrating him and everything that he did for us and, and anybody that he dealt with, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Arthur, shout out to the oldest brother of mine. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump straight to the video. You got anything you want to say before we start? God is good. Oh, yeah. God is good. So uh, it's a beautiful day today. It's Friday. and Friday. It's amazing. It's lovely. Um, weather here in Houston. It's this is this it's all right. Houston got a very bipolar weather. That's the only thing I don't like about my city. Other than that, I love my city. So if you ain't never been here, pull up. My city, my city. That's that song. Oh. I don't know that song. Okay. This must be some old. It is an old song. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, first question. You ready, Mama? Mm-hmm. How did you meet Dad? We, we went to the same high school and we live in the same village. Like literally- And my, what village was this? From town, from Congo. From Congo, you know, all you stongos know where I'm from. That's the, 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 the main, they call it the main city in Samoa, but it's really Congo. Congo is right. the uh, city of American Samoa. But we're the, we're the town. So you guys was the same village? Yes. Y'all went to school together? Yes. So can you tell them the exact first time that, like y'all had y'all's first interaction? First interaction, we didn't like each other. <laughs> For real, like, I, I, I dislike him. I don't want to say hate him. I disliked him because- wow. Cause he has an ego, like all the way up here. He was like the best I mean. running back high school in 90, 91, 92. Yeah, class of 92. Um, he was good at what he does so he on the field. Cocky. Very, very like cocky that. and I didn't like that. And all the girls liked him and loved him and want to get with him and woo woo, whatever. And um, yeah. That's how our first in action was. I used to, I used to like dog him out. So what made you like him then? Um, I don't know. We started um because when from the same village, I I was seeing him a lot. He was seeing me a lot. Like we 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 pass each other and you know, and um and it went from there, you know. And I was the Miss Samoana of my high school, and he was like the MVP of the football. Um, team and um, yeah. Can you tell them where Samoana is at? Samoana is in Utule. If you know, you know. It's in Utule, like the second village by my village. So you said that you and my dad, y'all, you didn't like him at first. Mm -hmm. So what made you, or what made you start like getting more attracted to him? Um. Maybe um, it was his little bit of his cockiness. I don't know. It's just. I thought you said you don't like. You didn't like. I know I didn't, but then I guess I got used to it, you know. And um, yeah. What? That, that's it. I don't know. I don't even remember how I started liking him because I used to like, like, not even talk, want to talk to him. Yeah. Well, actually, I was talking shit to him. Oops. All right. It's and, weird how. And your parents, remember, I remember you told me, you said your parents did not want you dating my dad. No. And why is that? Because he had a history. Because I, my, I, my parents was explaining this to me and I didn't really get it at the time. Now I'm older, I got it, you know. Uh, you know, I'm from, my family's Lutu family and they're the Anawai family. And we have some kind of relationship in the in the in the families, so that didn't stop us from seeing each other. But we end up, um, yeah, getting together anyways. To college after I graduated in '92 to Hawaii to go to UH. That I was pregnant with Arthur, my oldest, 
and they just sent we we didn't even have the guts to tell them. I didn't even I was so scared, you know. Because they didn't want you pregnant at that time, right? Yeah, they didn't want no. How, yeah, they wanted me to go you? to college. How old you was? Uh, eighteen. You was eighteen. Yeah. With Arthur. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you he was born in America, Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, we went to Hawaii. Yeah. Okay. And what what was uh, my dad like? What was his thoughts? Like, nah, we need to tell him, or like, what? You know what I'm saying? He was scared too. He was scared. Yeah, he he wanted to me to do whatever I wanted to do if I wanted to tell him or not, but he was gonna go with it. Yeah. So I didn't tell him. I was scared. I was 18, and I didn't know what to do. Yeah. So then when my parents sent me to Hawaii. So how long how long have you known my dad before even having a baby with him? Oh, um, he was. I was in 11th grade, I think he was in 10th grade. Mm -hmm. And then, um, like probably a year or two. A year or two, and then you had a baby with him? Yeah. Did you know, that? did you like, instantly knew he was the one for you or what? No. 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 <laughs> Not at all. So what made you, I mean obviously you had a kid with him, but what made you um, like stay, stay with him? Yeah. Because, I wouldn't want any of my kids to uh, not have a father, you know, figure around them. So I was, I would stay, you know, in the relationship because I had a son with him, you know, obviously. What is the hardest thing raising your children? I think it's being there for them. Uh, different parts because there were different schools and and there it was just a lot like I would you know the hardest thing is making sure y'all go to school y'all go to football practice that there's food on the table when y'all get out of school or lunch you know and breakfast in the morning and appo appointments you know doctor's appointments and because at the time, when your dad was um, on the road, I would do everything. That's facts, y'all. She was she was the the main one. Everything. Uh, <laughs> look at who's calling me, y'all. Let's, let's add on to the thing. Oh, my fault, my fault, do you think? Yeah, yeah. Nah, we part in the video. We dropping the video right now. What you mean? What you, look, what you, what you, yeah, all right. He was doing like the main ground work while my dad was on the, uh, you know, the road. So big, pra big praises to that. And, yeah. uh, Cause he would be at, uh, on the road four days and come home three days. That's not a lot. Sometimes even longer than that yeah. though. I remember I, sometimes mm -hmm. I wouldn't see dad in like, maybe like a month, two months. Just and traveling. he just he just came home maybe for a few days. I wouldn't even say no three, four days. Sometimes he came for two days. And I used to be mad. And I'm like, damn, I'm trying to spend time with bro. Uh, yeah. So that was the hardest part, right? Just trying to do everything all at once while my dad was on the road. Mm -hmm. And y'all were like the same age, so it's right. like... Any advice? <clears throat> this is not one of the questions. I just wanted to throw this out. Any advice to single mothers out there that, that that's... Uh, you know. Um. Yeah. Keep your head up, and and you just do the best for your kids, and and they appreciate you later on down the line. You know, and just be your kids' best friend and everything, so they can let you know what's going on and not even holding anything back. If you have a daughter or a son, you know, just be their best friend also. Uh, tell me about the day I was born. The day we were born in Pensacola, Florida. Um, it was it was different because we we really wanted a girl, so we tried four times, and then it turned out you. You know, it's a blessing anyway. But I think I'm glad that I got you as a boy. Because if it's a girl, I don't think, oh man, I, girls are, it's harder 
for parents to raise a girl, you know, obviously it's yeah. a lot. But for boys, I didn't have to do a lot because you would learn from your older brother. Oh, right, right. And, and, and you didn't want to do the same thing they were doing, you know? And that's what's... Crazy. So I'm saying, tell us about the day that I was born. Oh, Eric, we were happy that we we got the fourth child and and I was very blessed. We were both blessed. Mom, <clears throat> explain to him when your water was... Oh, when yeah, you were born? When I was in your stomach. Oh, yeah, Lord. Explain to him. Like, we, okay. know you, we know you blessed to have Zilla <laughs> as a son. We know that. Oh, Let them know the right. day of. Like, I'm oh, in your stomach. Oh, you meant when I was giving birth yeah, to you. That, yeah, that's the question. Yeah. Say, say so giving saying. birth to me. Man, I, it was hell. I thought I was going to die. You know? And, and then I said to the doctor, this is it. I'm not having no more babies. So I, he said, you sure? Yeah, I said, I, want, I need you to cut, burn, and throw that away. And I did. But because staying at home nine months, another nine months for oh. another kid. Anyways, as I was saying, when I was giving birth to him, I had a hard time pushing him out. Because his, because my head. Yeah, because your head. I got a big head. Yeah, your head was on here, and my your feet was supposed to come out, but it's that's dangerous. The head supposed to come out first instead of the feet. Is this fact? So you just freestyle? Oh my god. Hmm? No, this is facts. Facts, all right. Your head was up here. All right, go ahead. And see. your feet was down there. Right. Like every mother knows it's a dangerous situation. You can die from you know that. You can tell us a little bit the previous, leading up to mm -hmm. why I was born, and then just a little bit afterward. Okay. Um, the day you were born, it was a lot going on. We was on our way to the hospital. I was already nine and a half months. Uh, my water broke. So rushed to the hospital, got to the emergency room. I got out in the wheelchair while my late husband went and parked the car. Obviously, he just got a camcorder. He was very excited to use it, right? So the nurse took me upstairs. I don't know what took him so long to get back, just to go park the car, but this is in Pensacola, Florida. The nurse got me upstairs and got me prepped. It was real quick because was I was- Was it hurting? Yeah, it was it was hurting me because I was already due nine months, so it was like two more weeks. You know, you needed to come out. So water broke. Then when it got, I got up there, they changed me real quick. I was uh, then got me on the bed. Um, the doctor was there. <clears throat> Told me to push first time because he needed to come out and. Then he came find out, he was, I wasn't ready, I, I need to not push. I wasn't ready to come out because his head was up here. His feet was getting ready to come out, but the, you know, everybody know that's dangerous. <clears throat> so the doctor had to massage me, you know, to turn him around and stuff. I have to do a lot of, um, you know, moving around and he was, um, yeah, so when we got his head down there, I didn't really, um, it didn't really take me a long time for, to push him out. I was ready to <laughs> to bust out, like, yeah. it, it needed to come out. And, um, yeah. Was it, was it was true that I came out like this? Whoa. I don't know about all that. Yeah. You got, nah, yeah. Nah. Hey, look though, stay tuned, y'all. Part two coming soon. Let us know what you think about the first video. Stay up. Let's get it.